How do you replace the A1 Sky Raider, a propeller-driven plane from a bygone era with a new modern jet plane? That was the challenge the Navy faced in the early 1950s. The Navy and Douglas came up with a solution and went from a Harley-Davidson to a scooter. In a nutshell, this is the history of the A4 Skyhawk. All footage in this video was made with the FlightSim DCS using the community mod for the A4 Skyhawk. This footage was retrieved from trailer and fan-made movies. Links are in the description. For full disclosure, I am not paid by either Eagle Dynamics, the mod or cinematic creators. The demands from the Navy for the new plane were very strict. A carrier-based strike jet, carrying 2000 pound payload, range 300 nautical miles, a max speed of 500 knots and a maximum takeoff weight of no more than 30,000 pounds. Expected cost price of the new plane could not exceed 1 million dollars. Ed Heinemann, Douglas' lead engineer for the project, was confident he could design a plane not only capable of meeting those demands, but even able to exceed some of them. But the only way this could be pulled off was by removing unnecessary redundancy in the systems and by reducing weight in every part of the aircraft. The Skyhawk was powered by a single engine, first the Wright G65 turbojet and from the A4E onwards the Pratt & Whitney G52 engine. Two intakes on fuselage sides fed the engine with air. To save weight, the entire aft section of the aircraft could be removed, allowing ground crew access to the engine for maintenance. This allowance saved 200 pounds of weight. The Skyhawk had a tricycle undercarriage and also rear weight was reduced. The main wing mounted landing gear did not fully retract in the wing, instead only the wheels disappeared in the wing, while the undercarriage struts were housed in fairings below the wing. When the first Skyhawks were delivered to the Navy in 1956, they were not only lighter and faster than required, they were even cheaper. If you like this style of videos, you can always support the channel by subscribing and clicking the like button. Suggestions and ideas are welcome in the comments. The Skyhawk carried two 20mm Colt Mark 12 cannons in each wing route, with depending on the model 100 to 200 rounds per gun. The gun proved to be unsatisfactory in combat, since it was prone to jams and stoppages following hard dogfighting maneuvers. The Israeli Air Force replaced the guns with two French 30mm DEFA cannons in their Skyhawks, while the Republic of Singapore Air Force replaced them with British 30mm Aden cannons. The first Skyhawk models only had three hardpoints, later models had five hardpoints. The loadout can range from unguided rockets to cluster bombs and unguided bombs. Although usually classified as a missile, the AGM-62 Walleye was more of a guided bomb than a missile. Air-to-surface missiles ranged from AGM-12 Bullpup, AGM-45 Shrike anti-radiation missiles to the AGM-65 Maverick. The Skyhawk could also carry nuclear bombs. Finally, for self-defense, beside its cannons, the Skyhawk could carry up to four Sidewinder heat-seeking missiles. In the early years of the Vietnam War, Skyhawks were the Navy's primary light attack aircraft. Due to its small size and weight, the Skyhawk could operate from the smaller older aircraft carriers designed during World War II and unable to accommodate the larger and heavier F-4 Phantoms and F-8 Crusaders. On May 1, 1967, Lieutenant Commander Theodore Schwartz, piloting an A-4C Skyhawk, managed to shoot down a North Vietnamese Air Force MiG-17 with an unguided Sunni rocket. This would be the only air-to-air -air victory for the Skyhawks in Vietnam. The Skyhawk has the unenviable honor of being the first combat loss in Vietnam on August 5, 1964, when Lieutenant Junior Grade Everett Alvarez had to eject from his stricken aircraft, only to end up as a POW for the remainder of the war. The last Skyhawk combat loss took place on September 26, 1972, when US Marine Corps pilot Captain James Walsh ejected from his wounded bird. Simultaneously, he became the last US Marine to be taken prisoner of war. Six months later, he was released as a POW. Another notable Skyhawk pilot and unfortunate POW was Lieutenant Commander John McCain, who later served as a House member and senator in Washington. In total, 362 Skyhawks were lost in Vietnam due to various causes. Among them were 32 A-4s, lost to surface-to-air missiles, and one in a dogfight with a MiG-17. In 1969, the Navy established the Navy Fighter Weapons School, made famous in the 1986 movie Top Gun. The nimble Skyhawks made themselves useful as surrogates for the MiG-17. At that time, F-4 Phantoms did not perform as expected against the North Vietnamese MiG-17s and MiG-21s. At the Fighter Weapons School, the F-4 pilots received their dissimilar air combat training against modified A-4s. The Skyhawk would be joined by F-5s, Israeli-made Kfirs, F-16s and F-18s in the adversary role. 
The first US warplane offered to the Israeli Air Force was the A-4 Skyhawk, where it formed the backbone of the ground attack force. The EIF renamed the Skyhawks Ait, Hebrew for Eagle. Israel was the largest export customer for the Skyhawk and retired the aircraft from frontline duties in 2000, replacing it with F-16s. Nevertheless, the Skyhawk remained in use for pilot training until December 2015, when the last Skyhawks were retired from service. The first foreign user of the Skyhawk was the Argentine Air Force, receiving their first models in 1966. However, from 1977 onwards, there was an embargo under President Carter, which restricted access to spare parts and put limits on the pilot training for the Skyhawks. Despite this, Skyhawks played a pivotal role in the Falklands War. During this war, Argentina invaded the UK-controlled Falkland Airlines, claiming them for Argentina. During the six-week war, Argentina deployed 48 Skyhawks. Although no match against the British Sea Harriers, the Skyhawks used unguided bombs in an attempt to fend off the British Expeditionary Force sent to liberate the island. Skyhawks were able to sink or damage beyond repair four ships, but 22 Skyhawks were lost in combat, including eight to Sea Harriers. The Argentine Air Force still operates an upgraded version of the Skyhawk, called the A4AR Fighting Hawk, but only 6 aircraft out of 24 are reported as operational. The latest Skyhawk operator was the Brazilian Air Force, purchasing 20 single-seat A4s and 3 dual-seat A4s from Kuwait. Between 2001 and 2017, Brazil tried to resurrect its naval air force when it bought the surplus French aircraft carrier Foch, renaming it the Sao Paulo. After its decommissioning in 2017, the Skyhawks had to operate once again from land bases. As of 2022, it is believed that only three Skyhawks are operational. Other air forces who once deployed the Skyhawk were the Kuwait Air Force, whose Skyhawks helped liberate the country during Operation Desert Storm. They sold their aircraft to Brazil once their FA-18 Hornets were delivered in the early 1990s. From 1967 to 1984, the Royal Australian Navy deployed 20 A4s aboard the carrier Melbourne before selling them to the Royal New Zealand Air Force. New Zealand operated and upgraded its A4s until 2001, when all A4 squadrons were disbanded. In 2012, eight Skyhawks were sold to Dragon International in Florida, a private company providing services to various military customers. When Indonesia's relationship with the Soviet Union declined, the United States offered 16 former Israeli Skyhawks, which were delivered in 1979. In 1980, 15 more Skyhawks were delivered directly from American stocks. However, in 2003, all Skyhawks were withdrawn once the first Russian Sukhoi Su-27s were delivered. Finally, Malaysia purchased 80 Skyhawks in 1982. Maintenance issues and high accident rates led to their replacement with the BIE System Hawks in 1995. Nowadays, the only active used Skyhawks are those belonging to civilian contractors like Top Aces, Draken International and Tractor Flight Systems. In the US, the Skyhawks remained in service with the Navy and the Naval Reserve until 1976. The Navy replaced them with the A-7 Corsair II. The Marine Corps stuck to its A-4s until the mid-80s, when they were replaced by the more versatile AV-8 Harrier II. Skyhawks were used in the Blue Angels demonstration team until the F-18 Hornets replaced them. The last Skyhawks, used for target towing and adversary training, were officially retired on May 3, 2003, ending the colorful career of this aircraft. Thank you for watching, follow these links if you want to see similar videos on military aircraft.